Well, let's die type of video again. We'll be eating ourselves off mountains, petting some really cute kitty cats, and beating the sh out of Nazim. Nothing out of the ordinary. But it will still be a ride. One that is less than a week after the previous video. I cannot believe that I actually kept the promise. That's amazing. Did you do as I asked at the end of the last video? Did you? Because that means you have your snacks ready and we don't have to wait for you this time. Let's go right into the mods. Assassin's Creed is one of my favorite video game series and one really freaking cool thing that you can do in the game is jump off tall buildings and be completely fine. The game is simply designed that way. And when I first started playing Skyrim, I really wished I could do some of those things, but it was never as satisfying. Well, now it is! Thanks to Jay Serpa, Leap of Faith is a small mod that adds a dozen areas such as these and they're clearly designed for you to jump off into a pool of water and feel like an absolute badass. As I said in my last video, this guy's mods are very small but they add so much and I love them all. This mod makes this amazing world just this much more interactive and this is why I love playing Skyrim even 10 years after the game come out. Cannot believe I said that long ass phrase and messed up the verb tense of after this game came out. The next mod is a really great addition to JK's collection. I've been using these immersive upgrades to existing locations in the game for a while and none of them have disappointed me. The reason why I wanted to show the Temple of Kinnereth is because I love this area of the game. I have reviewed a few mods inside the temple and it's because it looks amazing as is, but with this mod on top, I mean look at the before and after, this place is a real safe haven. While there are sick people needing attention, the temple itself is very silent. It's a very sacred place. And this is where Morgana comes to do her studies and also review a bunch of mods. I'm Morgana, nice to meet you. And this is just a cool mod that adds onto our mod reviewing studio. That's what I'll be calling the Temple of Kinnereth from now on. For our next mod, this one is really really cool. I was probably the most excited for this one. Haven't you ever wondered why for every door of the game the lock looks the same? I mean, it doesn't matter what chastity belt you'd be lockpicking, it would always end up looking like this. Say no more. With security overhaul, your lockpicking experience will vary depending on what door you're lockpicking. The actual mechanic will be the same though, it will just look different. I mean, let's take this dwarven door for example. Look at the lock it has. It's fully animated too, making the gears spin as you spin the lock. It makes sense that some chests and human design doors have this texture because it just looks human. Right? It looks human. But if you go to another species chest, it just makes sense that- Oh, what the f Am I even allowed to show this? What is- No! It looks like- Well, I guess as a man, I'll never be able to pick this lock because I have no idea where the sweet spot is. Now, other than that little hiccup, I guess the, the mod is great. <laughs> Honestly, it looks great. It's just, it, it just looks funny. Because I'm 12. <laughs> I mean, the mod is great, and it makes me feel very secure about my masculinity. Oh yeah, we're fighting Nazim again. This time in the middle of the forest, so... Why not? And why do I have a torch, you might be asking? Well, simply to do this after I kill him. With Torch Cremation, you'll be able to burn your dead victims and get rid of the evidence. Or give him a proper burial, whichever one you prefer believing in. Either way, you're still burning corpses. Now you won't only have to teabag his corpse, but you can also do the same thing to his ashes. Double teabagging effect. This is a neat addition, again, for immersion purposes. I cannot imagine what this game would have been like with all these features added into the main game. Modders are crazy, man. Like, just just, just think about how many s 
small details, how many like insignificant features they added onto the game, and it just makes it so much better. Also, Nazim Ash Mountain. And now we have a really amazing armor mod by 4th Unknown. If you want to get it, you'll have to find all the chests, and in order to get all of them, just complete the Trials of Kind quest, and you'll find all the chests where you kill the wolf, the skeever, the huge ass crab, holy sh**, and also the troll at the very end. The other three spirits don't have any chests, so don't waste your time, don't, don't do what I just did. And the mod also comes with a sword that you can just find just north of the Lady Stone. And once you have all the pieces, oh lord, it will be completely worth all the trouble. The model is amazing, and it's such a breath of fresh air from all the hentai you find on the Nexus. Not that there's anything wrong with hentai, but you know what I mean. I just want to thank Kami Show for recommending this mod to me, and I recommend it to you right now. I think the pieces itself look amazing on their own, and just combining them with a game uh, like Skyrim, it just fits so nicely. So nicely. It just fits. It, it just feels like it was supposed to be part of the main game, and this I really appreciate. Another cool thing to note is that one thing I didn't show is that it also works on a male character just as amazingly. I have no words, but yeah, you get what I mean. It's a great mod. And finally, we got a pretty lore-friendly addition. In the Elder Scrolls lore, the natives of Elsewhere, also known as Khajiits, have many sub-races that would come in different forms. The form that we're all familiar with are called Keth Cathay, <laughs> I think. And this mod adds a few others. Now, in the lore, there are also some other Khajiit breeds that walk on four legs, but for the sake of simplicity, the mod author was only able to add some bipedal breeds, such as the Daggy Rat, uh, the shortest of the bunch, and the Pamar Rat, the strongest of the bunch. Now, these are just a few ones I was able to identify in the game, and I will definitely forget all the names by the time I'm recording this video, but it's a great thing to have more diversity of this race in the game makes it more lore-friendly, which is what a lot of you have been craving for. Me included. The Khajiit are a wildly unutilized race in the game, and I wish there was more of this. I would love an Elder Scrolls game and elsewhere, but I guess with all the leaks for, from the next Elder Scrolls and the, the fact that it takes more than 10 years to make an Elder Scrolls game, I guess we won't see that anytime soon, probably not in my lifetime. <laughs> Sad to say, but we'll never know. So on that note, I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I want to thank you actually for the whole year of 2021. Now, by the time I'm releasing this video, it'll probably be 2022, in which case, Happy New Year. <laughs> uh, but um, no, it's, it's still 2021 when I'm filming this video. This year has been crazy, and I gotta take a moment to talk a little bit about it. On a personal level, this year has changed so much. I mean, the first half of the year, not gonna lie to you, uh, I've been probably at my lowest of lows in all my life. But it was this summer that I actually decided, you know what, let's get a new job, let's just start anew. And here I am, in a very small apartment, out of my parents' basement, <laughs> and now I'm doing great. Even though I wasn't able to um, be very active on YouTube, I'm very, very happy that you guys have stuck around and now I have more time to make videos and also maybe some live streams soon. We don't know. Well, let's see. I know at the beginning of the year uh, I said that I wanted to get 10k on YouTube and that never happened because I didn't expect to take a break for a few months and I didn't expect my life to turn around like this. Um, there's a lot of unexpected events in life and one thing that I took from this year is that while there are, there are some unexpected events, you can still see some of them and uh, make some more unexpected events. I'm also a little sick. I got COVID. <laughs> I'm fine though, I'm fine though. I'm, I'm actually having a really uh, mild case, so I'm one of the lucky ones, but there are others very unlucky. This is your reminder to uh, get vaccinated. Honestly, if I wasn't vaccinated right now, I would probably have it a lot worse. You can probably hear in my voice, I'm talking through my nose a little bit. But that's probably like the only symptom I have right here, right now. I know you're sick of hearing about it, but be careful out there. COVID is, is everywhere, man. Literally, like I would have never thought I would get it, but here I am. <clears throat> but going back to Skyrim and stuff, 
where I want this channel to go in 2022 is that I want to have more of a story. I love what I what we did in 2021 where I just get Morgana as a character and then we build around that right I want to do more of that in 2022 I will focus more on <clears throat> mods that will make our story within the channel grow more anyway uh, I've been talking for a long time uh, thank you very 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 six and a half hours later very much for everything and write in the comments what you want to see from the channel like some even on some dumb skits okay give me like oh i want for example give me something like oh i want morgana to have a, a love story with nazim i don't know I'll, i want to do stuff like that all right i'm gonna have a heartfelt moment with robert okay we don't need millions of subscribers to be happy man all we need is these guys i love you i love you and i love you guys so I loaded up this older game called Skyrim I started making videos people be admiring Well on one hand it gets pretty tough I can't help to admit that it's some really cool stuff I get back in the game after I played so many times I thought it would get boring after committing so many crimes Did you know the regular chicken is considered a person? Now that's a dumb feature that ruins my immersion